Hello and welcome to our special lockdown review of Virgin Atlantic's 7879 Dreamliner and our comparisons between Economy Delight and Premium Economy. If you too are still in lockdown and dream of getting on a plane and going somewhere exotic, dream no more. Because for the next few minutes you can board this Dreamliner with us and pretend everything is back to normal, whatever normal is. If you want to delight us, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we will promise you not just premium content, but upper class too. Content that is, not a review, can't afford that. I have always said you should never follow Richard Branson into a bakery, as by the time he's finished, he has his fingers in all the pies. Virgin Atlantic is one of those larger and more successful pies, and he can only hope Virgin Voyages, his new cruise ship venture, can replicate the success of his air fleet. If it doesn't go bust with all the others. Virgin Atlantic's economy comes in three flavours. Economy Light, Economy Classic and Economy Delight. Delight is the top selection and was an extra £100 each for our flight from Heathrow in London to Johannesburg in South Africa and it offered an extra three inches of legroom, priority boarding and advanced seat assignment. It is claimed to be the best economy product of any UK airline. As this was a night flight of nearly 11 hours, we thought the extra legroom would save our lower limbs from gradually decomposing into sausage meat, so we took the plunge. Would we be delighted with our choice? Stay with us to find out. Priority boarding was quick and easy and we were soon on the aircraft, this one appropriately named Dream Genie. The Economy Delight seats are in a small section situated over those beautiful swooping composite Dreamliner wings, which is our preferred area to sit on a plane if the seats slightly forward of the wing are occupied by business class, which they usually are. The seats are in a 333 configuration and as mentioned you get an extra 3 inches of legroom over standard economy and that is noticeable. It makes stretching your legs out much easier. I'm just under 6 feet tall and there was plenty of wriggle and stretch room for me. In typical Virgin style, the safety video was funky and a bit avant-garde, leaving you the task of having to decipher what to do in a natural emergency. Look funky and hope for the best, I suppose. About an hour into the flight, the flight attendants brought around a decent G&T and a mini bag of mini pretzels. Why is it always pretzels? I just had to mention, before the evening meal was served, I was easily distracted by Virgin Retail Therapy magazine. Featuring everything you can buy on board. Interestingly, there are items in here that I now consider absolutely essential to my life. These include... An intense eye rescue kit. I do have intense eyes that need rescuing regularly. Some EGF serum for your breakthrough molecular biology anti-aging needs. A Derma Wand Professional Facial Beauty Tool. Abracadabra, a beautiful face. Hmm, <laughs> it'll take more than a bit of magic to improve my face. A Golden Snitch Necklace. Trouble is, if you take it off, you'll never ever find it again. Hmm, an HD Night Vision Video Camera Watch. Why? No, please don't answer that in the comments. Perves. Liquid Oxygen Drops. Phew, thank goodness. I'm often low on liquid oxygen, particularly on planes because you can't bring it through security. Finally, a pencil that grows into a plant, which is something I never thought I'd ever see invented. But it has been. Starts life as a plant, has a midlife of poetry, anonymous hate mail and shopping lists. Ends life as a plant. Hmm, the circle of life, eh? Now what would you buy and why? Please leave a comment below. It's fascinating. Anyway, I showed all these things to Helen and she didn't let me buy any of them. And before I could protest, our evening meal was being served. Virgin even have a little menu, even for economy, which makes you feel like you've been given a tiny folded upgrade. I had the mac and cheese and it was surprisingly creamy, not dry at all and full of cheesiness. The rest of the meal wasn't bad either, and we got some wine too. By now it was time for a bit of shut-eye. 
Now, I've known people who sleep in a door frame because they can sleep through earthquakes. I, on the other hand, have a mercury trip switch that wakes me up every nanosecond with the slightest noise or movement. I got no sleep at all despite the extra legroom. Could have been my useless neck pillow, which was expensive, but braced me up so firmly I could have been mistaken for having a spine injury and it got in the way of my noise cancelling headphones as I left my earplugs in the overhead locker and I couldn't be bothered to clamber over a sleeping stranger to get them. Please leave me a comment as to what neck pillow you use that actually works because I've yet to find one that doesn't brace you up like a victim of whiplash. Anyway, back to the legs and we were able to stretch them out straight for long periods and if you've travelled normal economy before on long haul you'll know how much of a huge blessing this is to your physical and mental well-being. Not today, DVTs. Around an hour and a half before landing, we got some breakfast and I chose the full English, which should have been called a partial English, as it didn't include many things like bacon or toast. But I'd have forgiven that if the rest was tasty, which it wasn't very. I ate it because I was hungry, but felt slightly off colour afterwards. Hmm, never mind. Overall, the economy delight was well worth the extra, but hold up, our review doesn't stop there, as we decided to fly back from Johannesburg to London in premium economy, just to see what the difference was, and if it was worth the extra. Click the link at the end for part two of this Virgin Atlantic 7879 Dreamliner review, and you'll see whether we thought premium was worth the extra. Thank you for watching, stay safe, please subscribe, and we'll see you in premium economy.